It's the man cave club. Engineer boots. Engineer boots. Yeah, we have a little smorgasbord of uh, some epic boots here. Um, you know, engineers are, it's a cool boot. I think it's a boot that not everyone understands. Not everyone mm. like gets it, right? But I yeah. think the more you stare at boots and get obsessed with boots, it's <laughs> like it's an like in inevitable outcome. Like at some point you will become like engineer curious Right. And then you're gonna buy some engineers, and then you're just gonna be obsessed with engineers, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like a it's a natural progression when it comes to I think quality boots, um, you know the broader topic of quality boots. Right. I think the 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 biggest thing with engineer boots particularly is to get the fit dialed in, right? Sure. To get the fit right. I think yeah. that's the biggest challenge for most people. Yeah. Because there's and no it, laces. Yeah. And it took it took me about two years. Wow. To, to, to find my fit, to figure out, uh, of course, you know, I started with looking for a pair of West Coast that fit me. Okay. Right. And, you know, I have these, these are the, the Mr. Lou Naturals, they call mm -hmm. them. And uh, I bought these from Ironheart International. The boots are made up north in Oregon and then they got shipped to Great Britain and then they got shipped back, back to, California. to Northern California. <laughs> so, so, but anyways, so the, the challenge with the West Coast boots is to find a D width because I sort of have a narrow foot. Okay. You got right? What's your, what's your Brannock? Uh, you know, My Brannock is nine D nine D right okay. on okay. the money. Nine D. Okay. You know, okay. um, but every pair of uh, Wesco boots that I tried on, I tried on a couple pairs at Standard and Strange in Oakland, mm -hmm. and they were just like flopping on my foot because they were the E width. They were the E width, they which were, which everyone says is Wesco's D width. Yeah, it's their their right. normal width is the E. Right. And so everyone, and, most and, shops when they order a run, they order E's, so they're yeah. a little more forgiving. And I and I've asked so many people that question. It's like, well, if if the E width is like the D width. Why not just call it a D width? D -width. But technically, it's not really a D width. It's actually it is kind of wider. A little bit wider. And although to make things even more complicated, I heard recently that Wesco is actually modifying their last, which is you know what they build the boot on, mm -hmm. and so their sizing is actually it's it's might might be changing. It's going to be changing. Oh wow, that's, that's, a, that's I just a, that's a hot take, man. Right. It's a, so, uh, anyways, that's probably a discussion for uh, the West Coast people at some point. Um, but so, so, so these boots. So you got these boots from Ironheart International, right? And they fit you well. How, how many? How many? Yeah. Like uh, how many tries before? Well, that's what I'm saying. It took it me. Take it took me like uh, a couple of years of ordering boots. I ordered, you know, trying boots on a standard and strange ordering boots from Baker Boots. Oh, Baker's Boots, north. yeah. Yeah, yeah they, I ordered a couple pairs. Yeah, I ordered a couple pair of West Coast through them, Love and they Bakers. just, they didn't they didn't fit me. So finally, I kind of narrowed it down, and I took a chance on the Ironheart website, and this is the last pair of, these are, so I went, you have to go down a full size. These are eight Ds. Okay. I'm a nine D in Brannock. Okay. And these are, these are eight D in West Coast, and they, fit me really well they're snug they're supposed to be snug i don't have a lot of heel slippage with these um yeah so that's that's the west go right and then i graduated to uh was in self edge and picked up a pair of these flathead boots the flathead the flathead these are out of japan Vibram 700 uh, V-Tread with the matching heels. That's a, that's a solid boot, man. Yeah, and, and again, these are 8Ds down one full size. Um, and they fit me really, I would say, almost better than the Westco, I think. Cool. Uh, of course they look they like have, they're a little more worn, so you spent a little more time in those. Uh, there's a lot of 
damage actually on these boots. <laughs> I can see the scratches and stuff. That's not. I'm gonna buy you a brush and some some conditioner, man, for that uh, leather. <laughs> man, and uh, the sole, the toe is actually getting pretty. You're getting hammered. worn out. Well, you wear these things, man, because you ride motorcycles all the time. I mean, you, yeah. If you go on your Instagram. Yeah, they're uh, a great motorcycle boot. I, I feel like you ride a, you ride like a new one. Of, you, you have a lot of bikes here. You ride one of like. You switch bikes like people switch outfits during the day. Right. Like, I have five little, motorcycles. Little you got five yeah. motorcycles. Three vintage so. motorcycles and two electric start new bikes. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and it's a great motorcycle boot. It's a flat sole, but it has a heel. And it gives you some protection, right? For yeah. Like yeah, hot, of course. Hot bits on motorcycles and, or, you know, got yeah, from you get a crash and, or something. Yeah, like, well, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you yeah, out. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but, um, okay, so... That basically covers my engineer. You know, I have the, the, these are my two favorites, you know, the Flathead and the Wesco. Uh, so let's talk about your experience. My with experience. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I can't remember exactly. I'm trying to remember exactly who I saw. It was probably like Jake, almost vintage style. He's, yeah. you know, on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Jake Scott. Jake's oh, a good one. Yeah. He's, he's got awesome style, super, you know, heavy into engineers. And I remember asking him, like, you know, just, you know, cold, cold call DMing him on Instagram. Like, hey, I'm thinking about getting an engineer boot. Uh, what do you think about this, this and that, you know? And he kind of he directed me towards Wesco as a good starter. He definitely told me, like, don't don't start below Wesco because I'd, I'd be unhappy. And then I think he was right. So I ended up um, through another guy, uh, Marcus uh, Boots Whiskey Cigars. Mm-hmm. Dude's got, I know, I've met him in person. Um, I've done some work on him, but he has this insane collection. He's got a bunch of bunch of engineer boots too. And he directed me to a friend who was selling a pair of boots. Yeah. Long story short, I ended up, my first pair of engineer boots was a used pair of uh, Wesco Boss 7500s, oh, wow. which was a specific, like a specific model they did. Not quite the Mr. Lou. I don't know if it, if it was the predecessor to the Mr. Lou. Yeah. Still had the MP toe, that British oh. British tan oh, domain okay. leather. Had, all right, because I was going to ask you about the toe. Had the MP the boss, toe. The Boss traditionally has a slightly rounder. Right. Toe, Is it right? does not have the Boss toe? Well, there's toe. two Boss toes. There's just a round toe, and then there's like a more like a bubble toe. The the, the, the bulbous bump toe. Yeah. yeah. So I, this is, has yeah. neither. That's why it's I think the Boss 7500. I think it was like a special yeah. anniversary, but they're really cool boots. Like a nice caramel. British tan uh, color. And that boot. was your first pair. That was my first pair. Those were in a 10D. I'm an I'm an 11C Brannick. So 10D that uh, that kind of follows your sizing advice for these. My yeah. feet are half off. My right foot's a 10 and a half actually. Okay. And my heel to ball on both feet is 10 and a half. Hmm. But I got like one like random long toe on my left foot. That makes it like technically an 11. So. Tech, yeah. You know, sometimes if a, if a if a you have a long toe on one foot. I have a long toe. You know what so, the, the Brits call that? <laughs> what do they call it's that? It's called a Horton toe. A Horton toe. <laughs> <laughs> you have a long uh, toe. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google that later. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, basically, if a last has you know a deep enough toe box, mm-hmm. if it, if it's if it's long enough, if it's if it's forgiving enough from the ball up to the toe, yeah. then I'll size to my ten and a half foot because I know I have room. Right. I have room for the longer. Yeah. yeah so exactly. I'll, I'll pretend I have ten and a half well, feet. Sense, but if it's a yeah. shorter, like uh, like on the roll clubs here, like if it's a little bit shorter, um, I would size off my my longer just so I know for sure. Right. Because that's that. a pretty flat toe. Right. It's pretty flat and it's pretty short toe box. A distance from from the and, ball, and your widest. A, this is an unstructured toe. This is an unstructured toe. Yeah. Okay. So you see how how flat that that can get compared to you know you have some some elastic or leather yeah. toe structure in the other boots. So, so those are my first pair, and then I was like, yeah, like this is sick. And like my wife's like, oh, those are those look cool. I like those, and I'm like, green light. Now, I'm you, buying engineer the, boots. The, yeah, so those are, those are you're talking about the Boss. The Boss 7500s. Okay. Yeah, and then I got a pair through Baker up in Oregon. Um, Baker shoe. I got a pair of the brown horse hide Mr. Lou's. So same same boot as this, but the brown horse hide. They got mm-hmm. these are these are Doctor Soul made out of a, a Taiwan. Um, but they're branded Wesco, so right. they do, you know, it's like a white label sole option, and, right. and they're great, you know. I think that was maybe my first half sole, too, because uh, the other ones had a full sole. And those are cool. I, I ended up moving those on more so because of the color. I just, as much as I like, like, a real chocolate brown color in photos, 
I just, for some reason, I don't know, I, I don't, mm. I don't end up like digging it on myself. So I passed those on and then I just went crazy, man. I bought like two pairs of benzene. They're out of Indonesia. Oh yeah. yeah. I got some, uh, um, like some shinky horse hide. And then I got the second pair was Merriam horse hide in, in Italian tannery. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I have? Then I got, uh, some Viberg engineers. Uh, the and where are those those are made? Viber, here? they're they're Canadian. Viber's oh, Canadian. in, Viber's in okay. Canada. So and I that one's a U.S. brand. Yeah, right? no, that one's uh, those are specific called the McCoy engineer. Right. Those yeah, have I'm familiar with those. Those right? have instead of a, a typical rounded heel counter, it's like a flat seam, like a cowboy boot. Right. So the pattern's kind of a little more like a cowboy boot at that heel counter. Um, those are cool. They're a little big on me. Viber's have usually. Most of their stuff has a little bit higher instep. I have a pretty low instep. Mm -hmm. um, so I had a hard time fitting those. I moved those on. Wow, then I, you you, then you I had, went through a lot of I'm not even done. <laughs> then, I, then I got a pair of Mr. Freedom Road Champ engineer oh, boots. Wow. Those are sweet. Those are very rare. Very rare, very special. Very sought after. It's a cool story. I actually saw them in the background in a photo on Mr. Freedom's uh, Instagram account. Posted some like you know customers in their store, and I saw yeah. the road champs, and I call I've, I called them up. I'm like, hey, do you guys have a pair? Because they've been sold out. They haven't. Right. They did like a couple runs, and they they keep saying, oh, this is the year we're gonna do another run. Mm -hmm. They're hard to get. They're very coveted, and uh, so I called them up, and they're like, yeah, we have a pair. It's a sample pair from like they're from like 2014, but they're 10 and a half. And I'm like, oh, I think those are gonna fit. Like, set, we're, you know, here's your check. <laughs> it was meant to be. Send, send, send me my boots, right? Yeah. And those boots were sweet, man. And I wore those boots a lot. I actually did end up selling those too. Wow. Um, I, I have commitment issues when it comes to boots. Right? It sounds like it, man. <laughs> uh, and I think that pretty much covers everything to now. Uh, they kind of culminated in these roll club Beautiful. Um, engineer boots. These are the RC 1940 last. Mm -hmm. So Brian's got two, two last. This is this is yeah. the rounder, taller profile toe, the 1940, and he has the uh, 2307 last, which is a little bit flatter toe. Yeah. But when it's unstructured, I mean that toe gets flat anyways, right? Right. So I don't know if you. It, it's a it's a classic yeah. last. These are Horween, um, dark olive, horse hide. These are great, the great horse color. Horse strip. It's such a. It's, it's it's a perfect color. It's a perfect it, color. That color would go with anything. Pretty much anything, Light man. Light colored jeans, Seriously. dark colored jeans. Seriously. Even the the yeah, it works. It's dark enough. It works with the you have works on with the, 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 the I mean, you see it next to the the denim. It's like it's such a good compliment for a dark, you know, uh, indigo yeah. color. And Beautiful. so, unstructured toe. Um, these have a leather sole. They have Brian's proprietary uh, heel cap on them. These have a slightly lower heel. These have like a two lift lower heel. Yeah, um, because that's the one thing that I that I remember about the Roll Club is that the heel is pretty high. I think a little higher than I I would like. Yeah, personally. Sure. But but these boots here, the heels. The, the balance is good. Yeah, I think yeah, because perfect. because these aren't on a half sole, because this you know this this sole package is thinner. Right. Um, because they don't have like this thicker half sole, uh, you can get away with the proportions. They, it looks better, I think, personally, right. with this little bit lower heel. Um, and these are comfy boots. They're size like pretty small. It's, it's hard to talk about Roll Club sizing because they are custom sized to you, sure. based off of tracings. And so uh, these are like a basically a 29 centimeter is how he. It's his sizing nomenclature. Mm -hmm. So the length of the footbed's 29 centimeters. Oh, okay. So. You know, if you measure your, uh, put your foot on a piece of paper, trace it out, put a tape to it, and you're, you're probably you're right. probably around like 27 centimeters, something like that, your foot. So, right. um, yeah, and so he, he sizes them specifically to you, so they're a little tighter fit, and it took me some getting used to, and I've worn these boots quite a bit. Um, I've been kind of like going off in other directions recently with uh, with boots, so I don't wear engineers quite as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think I told you, if I had a pair of these, I would just wear the shit out of them. That's it, man. I tried I to get you to, to borrow these because they right. kind of fit you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right? that's <laughs> interesting. They do, they do sort of fit me. They're a little roomy. Yeah. Felt like in the heel. Uh huh. Uh, you know, I was getting some slippage there, but yeah. nothing that like a really thick pair of boot socks wouldn't yeah, resolve. Yeah, they'd you know? soak it up, baby. So right? maybe yeah. if you're ready to move these on, I might, <laughs> I'll you know, maybe. might be your customer. You know, 
Yeah, so so this is, you know, this really represents for me like the culmination of like yeah. a, a long boot journey. This right? is the, and, and this is the pinnacle. Yeah, absolutely. One and of it, and it's it's interesting that you went through all those different boot brands and landed here. Yeah. You know, which makes sense because you're you basically gradually like just ratcheting up, ratcheting up, yeah. ratcheting up. Yeah. And yeah. not necessarily, not meaning that, you know, I mean, this boot is, it's custom made. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you can't really compare it to the other more off the shelf yeah. boot. Yeah. Um, but, it, you know, I, I don't think that that is. That's not like a like a hard rule. Like you're you're not gonna be the most happy right. with these boots just because they cost me the most out of all yeah. the engineer boots, right? Exactly. There's, yeah. there's happiness at every tier. Right. Like I I have some some Truman uh, mock toes that I've been wearing more than any other pair, right. and I have these, and I have other pairs of roll clubs in my closet, right. and I have custom made uh, WM Beijing boots, right. and you know Vibergs and. Uh, and I, and I wear these kind of, you know, cheaper, uh, lower tier boots, but they, they bring me happiness. And so I think sure. that's kind of like, yeah. that's kind of like a, like a, a, a myth that's perpetuated. And I think kind of an unhealthy one, not to get too, too deep, but that you'll only, well, you'll only be happy with the highest tier, right? Cause you, you have these boots, yeah. but you wear Red Wings quite a bit, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the my daily boot, like just like going to work and running around is typically a red wing it's yeah. and it's usually my favorite red wing is the lineman boot okay which they don't even make anymore it's a lace to toe right the yeah lace to toe yeah well yeah. they they actually made two linemans these are like more like the modified linemans but you know that's going to be another episode obviously yeah, we're going we're gonna specific. to yeah. we're gonna talk about <laughs> lace-up boots um and i'm gonna pull out some of my favorite red wing cool. boots um but um, yeah, so I think in terms of like pull on engineer boot, you know, I I think we pretty much covered what we have, our experience. What we have, yeah. There's some, you know, there's some great resources out, resources out there for the history of engineer boots. Uh, the Stitch Down podcast, they they sat down with uh, J D Gabbard of Creosote Boots. Oh wow! And man. they have a really cool, you yeah. know, at length discussion of the history Cre Creosote of Creosote boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so uh, which Carl which, Morawski has a lot to say about. Yeah, that. he's Creosote. a big fan too. He, yeah. They're friends. So but. so um, in terms of engineer boot, like what would be the next engineer boot that you would be interested in owning? Sure. So I think, I think really the only place up from here, uh, you know, maybe some would argue clinch. Um, right. I'm, I'm skipping clinch and I'm going straight to creosote boots. Okay. I actually have on order. I've had for a little over a year now. It's about a, Almost three year wait list at this point. Three years. Almost three years. Wow. I think he's past three years. When I put the order in, he wasn't. That's crazy. It was only like, like a two and a quarter year wait <laughs> uh, when I put the order in. Uh, wow. You know, don't delay. Get your order in now, right? Yeah. Uh, so I have a pair of um, Creosote Parlor Parlor Scar engineer boots wow, wow. the We'd, black over die hopefully we'll still be around we can do an episode i think so right? we definitely will boots. yeah I'm, I'm gonna you know shout from the mountaintops when i get those boots everyone right. will, everyone will know so so the, yeah those have been like a, a grail boot for okay. me for a long time right and uh they're cool and they they have kind of that same viber mccoy um you know cowboy pattern just mm -hmm. not a traditional swooped um heel counter real cool sprung toe those are going to be on the leather sole um, kind of like a, almost like a, a red-ish under dye hmm. with a few coats of black over dye. So it'll be a fully blacked out boot, but a T-core, wow, uh, a, a, a true T-core, right? So that's my grail. That's actually on the way. I don't have to talk in hypotheticals about those. I'm going to get them at some point. Uh, yeah, two years <laughs> from yeah. now. But how about you, Paul? What is a, do you, is there something you're eyeing next as far as engineer boots go? Do you have yeah. a grail? Can yeah, you, I think can you even get your grill. I mean, I've been looking for uh, Wesco released a few years back a 1939 anniversary 
edition. Okay. And I think they shipped a lot of them to, to Japan. Through a shop or through just straight through Wesco? They released them, and I, I, I first noticed them on the Wesco Japan. Okay. Uh, ID. Okay, got it, got yeah, it. So that's where I first saw them, first noticed them. They, they did a, 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 a few anniversary editions. They did the Boss Round Toe, and it's the big round toe bubble toe mm-hmm. with the green sole. The oh, RV wow. Green Soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool boot. And they also did, I just discovered, um, they did a lace-up, too. Oh, wow. Like a round, matching... Round toe, lace-up. Same style, like, you know, dark brown with the green uh, Army sole. Eventually, I'm just going to, like, drive up to Wesco, have them, you know, build me that boss boot. Yeah. Round toe boot. In yeah. brown leather. Cool. Right? That, that's... Cool. My growl boot. The right holy there. grail. Okay, well, I think that pretty much wraps up our second episode of uh, the Man Cave Club. Next time, we're going to be talking about flannels. Flannels. Love we're going to be talking about leather jackets. Cool. And what else? What else are we going to We got a lot, man. We got lace up boots we can cover. Lace up boots, right? Eventually, we'll talk. I'll go to, I'll go to school. Um, and learned about motorcycles and yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you're gonna school me pretty hard on leather jackets too, because I have one leather jacket. Well, I don't know. I don't have a lot of like necessarily technical information on leather jackets. Maybe the history and you yeah, know, history, yeah, I, I'll, I'm gonna, yeah, different I, brands. I'm gonna learn some sure. things for sure, Paul. <laughs> I'm not yeah. worried about that. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, this was awesome, man. Thanks for having me again. So you're yeah. Moto Can two ends on Instagram. Moto Can Instagram. I'm uh, nerding with boots. Nerding with boots. Yeah. Moto can. Uh, check our feeds out. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you. Right. It's the Man Cave Club.